Want to come in my stall and watch Mini Indy? Come on in. Minnesota. A story you won't want to miss. Potato wrestling has reached a new level in Barnesville. You'll have to stick around for this. This weekend, thousands descended upon Barnesville, Minnesota for the annual Potato Days Festival. But it's this one event this weekend that's captured the imagination of a group from Minneapolis. Steve Barone and his friends have taken the sport of wrestling to new heights, or perhaps in this case, a new low. He's holding the world championship of the universe. Everyone's got their eye on that belt. And everyone's going to take their uh, take their chance to get a shot in at a Groton. What started out as an idea to promote tourism in Minnesota has blossomed, or budded, if you will, into something completely outrageous. It's a bigger idea. It's food wrestling. Whereas if we went to Italy, we'd wrestle in pasta. It, you know, it'd be a way. It'd be a way match. So we would be at a disadvantage. They come here. We would wrestle in potatoes. We go to Japan. We wrestle in sushi. You know, we go to Boston, it's clam chowder. For nearly 10 years, Barnesville has hosted this event. But could they have ever imagined it would spawn the Mashed Potato Wrestling Federation? I'm un undefeated. And what does that mean? I've never won. And sometimes, like when we were in Clark, South Dakota, my afro prevented all potatoes from actually entering near my scalp. I do a little thing called the mashed potato where I pick up a handful, I pick up another handful, and I put it in the guy's ears and I shake his head. Generally that works my opponent into submission. I get a scoop and I get him and I just shake his head and he, whoa. What the wrestlers may or may not realize is that this wonderful goo here is inedible. It's the potato plant droppings that were left over and after they're all done getting it out of their crevices, it will be fed to cows. If you're wearing a watch, for example, last year I was wearing a watch in the pit for some reason. You know, I didn't want to be late for my match. And I woke up the next day and my hand was next to my, my nose and yeah, it's, the potatoes had fermented and I got kind of drunk off it. The rules are just to have good, clean fun. But in this case, Ooh. that's entirely impossible. Steve Barone, a.k.a. Steve O'Groton, recaptured his championship of the universe, actually, again this day, but it wasn't easy. This time around, it was a little hard. Cardio-wise, I thought I had trained uh, enough, but uh, you can never train enough for mashed potato wrestling. Stuff ripes you out. It's tough, very tough. Very tough. Yes, very tough indeed. Uh, I gained at least 45 pounds. Serious fake, who knows? Well, this is the second mashed potato wrestling event this group has gone to this year. Clark, South Dakota also holds a potato festival still to come.